Ever since Zero Mission, Nintendo have taken a massive step back regarding what they were going for with Krokemeyer. It's very easy to understand that they were firmly confident in forging the path toward utilizing potential for a boss that instantaneously earned a reputation for being iconic after its conceptually brilliant set piece rose to fruition. What isn't easy to understand though is why they decided to let go of all of that ambition and, to my genuine dismay, ultimately purge from ever seeing the light of day, and forever living on as a memory in the franchise that is literally forgotten. Point being, there isn't even a scale of evidence that remotely inspires nor acknowledges the beloved wall with legs we once saw in Super Metroid. Doubly so once you come to realize that Krokemeyer happens to be the only boss in Super Metroid that hasn't been referenced or mentioned in any way, shape, or form since its debut. Everyone else has either been reused or taken as design references for enemies to some degree, but there has never been any trace of an invincible, multi-eyed, long-armed, crade-like lava creature obstacle present throughout the history of the franchise. Dragon received a slight piece of recognition recently as an easter egg in Metroid Dread, and it honestly would have been awesome to at least have something redeemable concerning anything about Krokemeyer's identity, but that sadly didn't turn out to be the case. You have so much potential to develop a boss that could have been so much more than a walking wall given the chance, but you sadly had to leave it all behind for unknown reasons and only have what remains be literally and figuratively led to waste by design and intention. I know I tend to say that a lot, but it's true. Krokemeyer is a unique boss concept that's led to waste. And it's a real agonizing shame that not a single fragment of his entire identity survived in Norfair's burning pool of acid. Because when was the last time we ever saw a creature look or act similar to Krokemeyer in the Metroid series? Short answer, never again. What a beyond tragic way to go. As for the second question regarding Metroid Dread's ending, I'll leave it simply as this. There is a blog I have written that explains everything on why Samus Aran is considered my favorite video game character. Please take your time to read it because it is extremely long and detailed. As soon as you're done with that, Watch the finale of my Metroid Dread Let's Play series, starting at this timestamp right here. And listen to what I had to say about this question during my Metroid Prime Remastered stream, which I'll provide in this timestamp here. Do all of this, and understand that it was personal.